hey dolls i decided to do this video for you guys because it's a highly requested one and since my last bra tutorial i do things just a little bit different so if you're interested just keep watching so i'm just using a speedy brush that i got from primark for about two pounds just to comb through my brows and to tame them a bit because i've been letting them grow out for quite some time now so they're quite bushy and all over the place I'm gonna go in with Freedom's Brow Pomade in chocolate. I like to line my brows before filling them in. I just like the outcome of it. I think it's really neat and I think that the line is a lot more sharper and defined. And yeah, I think it really helps to give it that look. Um, I'm using the 266 brush by MAC. To do so, it's an angle brush. But if you do have just a regular small angle brush, that can also work. To give me clear guidance on where I need to line, I'm just going to use a spoolie brush just to brush the hair down with. So now I'm going to line the top of my eyebrow, exactly what I've done to the bottom I'm going to do to the top. Again I do so because I like the sharpness that it gives me. I like my, my eyebrows to be quite sharp, quite bold, so that's why I do this. I'm not too sure but I think in my last eyebrow tutorial I actually filled in my eyebrow with um, powder but I'm not too sure but this time I'm just going to use the same gel that I used to line it because my eyebrow hairs are quite long and I find that the gel when it dries it actually stays in place so it helps my hair to actually stay in place whereas the powder I would recommend using it if you've got quite neat eyebrows well trimmed, waxed, threaded, whatever you do to them that's when I would suggest maybe using a powder and when you're going for the natural look of course. But if you're like myself and you want really nice defined brows, um, I would definitely oh, <laughs> I would definitely recommend using um, the gel like myself. Just to diffuse the gel, I just brush through my eyebrow with the spoolie brush. It's so crazy how many of you guys in my everyday makeup tutorial asked me what palette I used to contour my eyebrows and it's the Vintinelli palette that's available to purchase from vintinelli.co.uk um, I used quite like a shade or two lighter than my colour just to give me the highlighted brow bone Also in my everyday makeup tutorial I realised that a lot of you guys asked me why is it that I use so much concealer to highlight my brows there are two reasons as to why I do this number one is because the concealer really does conceal and hide away what you don't want visible. So because I have um, a lot of hair beneath my brow because I haven't done them in quite some time, I find out the concealer covers it for me very well so that it's not too obvious that my brows actually need doing. So if you have a look at it right now, it looks very clean and neat. Another reason as to why I do this is because I don't necessarily prime my eye with an eyeshadow primer. I just use the excess concealer that I use beneath my brow so now that I'm blending it in with a buffer brush you find that I'll drag it all the way down to the lid and that's my base for my eyeshadow color so just for you guys that wanted to know why I use so much concealer that's why so exactly what I do to the bottom I do to the top I do this just because I really want it to be precise and neat often you find that on top as well you get excess hair from your eyebrows and doing so i just do that just to cover it up and just to neaten it up a bit now i drag the concealer away from the brow because i know i'm gonna have to buff it into my skin so that it blends so um, the reason why i do that is because the buffer brush is quite big and even if the, the brush is small you would find that you would often smudge your eyebrow if you don't do this and this is where you would reduce the length of your eyebrow if you think that it's too long. You just use the buffer brush and just buff away the edges a bit so that it's shorter. Yeah, so just being silly <laughs> and just tidying it up a bit and this is the outcome. When you're applying your foundation, obviously you would cover the top bit with your foundation colour just so that it blends in with the rest of your foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed, stay tuned, subscribe, like and comment and see you next time.